Well, ABC 2 News is working for you right now. More kitchens catch on fire on Thanksgiving Day than any other day of the year. But would you know what to do if it happened to you? Mark Clegg from our sister station in Kansas City shows us how it can only take just seconds. It did it within minutes because I know I wasn't gone but a second or two. As she went close, came close to the door, I did see the flame just, I mean, it just raised up. It only takes seconds in the blink of an eye. Your kitchen stove can go from this to this. A massive fireball rolling through your home. And I turned the stove on as low as I could in the back burner and turned it down to simmer. And once the flames start, they can explode into a fireball if the wrong decision is made in those crucial seconds. That's what happened in Julia's case. It kept flaming up very high and as I kept walking out and he had the door open. I said, I can't, I can't. And I took it and, and I flipped it with the water and it went up all the way up to the ceiling. The number one thing you don't want to do is what? You don't want to move a pan that's on fire. Uh, and you especially don't want to put water on it. Julia escaped without a scratch, but as for the Ankrams home, the flames hit the drapes, catching them on fire and smoke filled the house. In the end, the damage totaled $200,000. <laughs> To demonstrate just how dangerous a cooking fire can be, we enlisted the help of the Overland Park Fire Department. This should work. In a test kitchen at the fire training center. That one's rolling. We set up eight cameras, five inside and three outside. Firefighters set a pot of grease on the stove and heated it up. Within about eight minutes, we had our fire. Everybody clear? This is where so many homeowners make that crucial split second mistake. Trying to move a burning pot to the sink and pouring water on the flames. Because of the level of danger, our firefighter extended a pole with only a cup of water through a window. Three, two, one, go. An unbelievable fireball erupts from the pot. It roars up the ceiling and then all the way across to the other end of the room. Water proving to be the absolute worst thing you can throw on a cooking fire. Well, it instantly turns to steam. So what you end up with is something like an explosion. So what should you do to prevent an explosion of fire in your kitchen? Our expert says, first of all, never move the fire. What happens when you move it off the stove? Well, you run the risk of dropping it. Um, fire likes air. When you move a pan, you give that fire more air. It can come back at you. In most cases, a fire can be extinguished right on the stove by using a lid. You're just going to take your lid, touch the edge of the pan, slide the lid across, and then turn off the heat. It's important that you do turn off the heat. And never lift that lid until the pan cools. Fresh air allows the flames to reignite. Another option for a broader coverage, grab a cookie sheet or a pizza pan. <laughs> For even added safety, fire experts recommend installing these stove top fire stops. These tiny cans cover two burners apiece. They hang magnetically from your hood vent. All right, fire is lit. We put these to the test next after starting a second grease fire. As the flames jump and reach the can, they ignite the tiny red fuse on the bottom. The can pops open dropping a powdered chemical to snuff out the fire. It's just like a mini fire extinguisher, only it works by itself. The fire department told me I could have gotten hurt. I was lucky I didn't get hurt. And that's rare. In three of every five kitchen fires where someone is hurt, those injuries are the result of the victim trying to fight the fire themselves. These days, Julia plays it safe when she cooks. I have a cookie sheet right here, ready to smother the fire out. Because she never wants to see this again.